to check if the station's huge spillway is lasting the distance. Michael Lynch was there. The hobbits would be at home here, in the dank caverns 170 metres below Lake Manapuri. But for mere mortals, it's wet, dirty and dangerous. Every minute counts. The power station's been shut down, and the major consumer, Kamelko's Bluff Aluminium Smelter, is taking emergency power from the national grid. A serious fault in the grid had mean restarting Manapuri and flooding this cavern, causing a run for safety and the loss of TVNZ's quarter-million-dollar robot camera. The alternative would be millions of dollars compensation to the smelter for lost production. Divers in the camera are getting their first look inside the giant spillway tunnel since it was built 20 years ago, searching for faults in the concrete lining that might affect water flow. With Kamelko itching to get its hands on the station, this is highly sensitive commercial information. The engineers were on the edge of their seats. It's a one in a lifetime experience to actually see, see how a tunnel like this has withstood the, the stress it's been put through for 20 years. And, and exactly how has it withstood this? Bloody well. It's very, very well indeed. The camera was also put into the other end of the spillway, nine kilometres away in Dartful Sound. And the pictures it's sent back will be analysed by experts. The spillway may eventually have to be emptied and repaired but it's something no one wants to think about for a long time. The job could take three months and cost $70 million. Michael Lynch, One Network News.